Hello folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just setting up here. Uh, uh, give me one sec. We're here, live. Um, just gotta go inside to finish setting up. Hello, my name is D. Shanger. I'm a mod and live stream director here at Occupy Toronto. And we are live here. Um, bunch of Ishnabi. Oh, sorry. I'm uh, setting up the screen here in relative shade. Give me one quick second and I'll be out there in in seconds. Yes, so we're here in Toronto um, and uh, some spoiled rich kid CEO is getting honors from fellow rich kids for clear-cutting forests and a bunch of Algonquins are here. The Empire Club is honoring some shithead CEO for clear-cutting. Anyways, anyways, I will get other people to tell you more about. Okay, so I am happy with that and we're good to go. I'm Dee Shanger. I'm a mod and live stream director here at Occupy Toronto and Huge construction zone here at uh, Union Station. Most people won't recognize it. Here we're at the Royal York Hotel. I don't know more. Okay, guys, um, we're going to start moving down towards the front entrance. We are. So uh, we're here at the start of the rally for the uh, traditional Anishinaabe who are rejecting the continued clear-cutting by Resolute Forestry in their territory. There was an agreement signed between the band council, but they're claiming that it's an oral agreement, which we know is not true. And um, the trilateral agreement has always been a fraud. The trilateral parties are the Resolute Forestry, the government, and the band council. And they're not even allowed to do clear cutting under that agreement, yet they're breaking that agreement, and that agreement itself isn't even valid. So, this is how this has been happening in the past, and this is how it's about to change because this is a, a grassroots protest in solidarity with the traditional people who have been silenced by the band council. Yes, this is beautiful. <laughs> and what's the name of that CEO for uh, Resolute? Uh, his name is uh, Richard Garneau. Corporate criminal, Canadian crime. And he's being honored by the Empire Club. He's being oh. honored by the Empire Club for, you know, it seems like the worst of the worst uh, genocidal murderers are get, having to get honored these days to just cover it up as if, yeah. oh, it's okay, they honored me, you know? Mr. Kenny, drop a flag at <laughs> Bumblebees are here. I like filming them in case they get out of control later on. Hello. Exactly. How are you? Hi there. Yeah, right. When it's all the pushing and shoving. Oh, yeah. They try and act nice. These cops pushed us around. I know. Yeah, there's a moratorium in Quebec now, too, so... Uh, you know, so, uh, Resolute Forestry, what they do is uh, they replant, and the government controls replanting, with about, di about four different species of trees, and there was about 40 different distinct species of trees. But when the birds return from their migration this year, their homes are going to be gone. Um, the clear-cutting also... Uh, produces stagnation, so you get these black puddles that breed disease. And you also have, um, with clear cutting, a destruction of the moose yard. So moose 
uh, you know, their territory is taken away and they're forced into increasingly smaller and smaller spaces. So what you're talking about here is ecocide, and I've been there. And uh, I was shown the clear-cutting sections, like I was taken through in a truck, and I thought it was just going to be like an hour, but it was all day, and we didn't even see the half of it. The level of destruction only three hours north of Ottawa and Montreal is just unbelievable, and this has to stop. A lot of it's old growth? Um, Right? No, I think it's second growth. The government just comes in and clears again and again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. 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 Yeah. Is there anything that you want to say to our children here as to why we're here today? Jason Fury. Why? Why we're. Does anybody want to say to our, anything to our children today? This guy will speak. Make them smoke down. You gotta know what it is that you're holding there. We're at the Royal York Hotel, folks. Uh, Royal York, the legendary. Across from Union Station, the central transportation hub of Toronto, in major, major construction mode. Because Toronto is getting ready for the Pan Am Games of 2015. Yar! Yar! I got your bag, Captain. Hold it under your bag here. Yes. Yeah. It's clear cut. He's a criminal. <laughs> Can you stretch that out? We can stretch it out a yeah, bit. I don't know more. And look! Yay, the new banner! What does that say? I don't know more. Peace, yeah, okay. justice, we respect. We need to hold it tight. We need to, the banners need to be tight to be legible. Yes. Thank you. Um, maybe there's someone else who can go who are you filming for there, brother? Uh, myself. It's nice. broken. Oh, okay. I found what it is. Second floor? It's on H yeah. and down the stairs. Ah, oh, okay, so they didn't get the grand ballroom. Oh, oh, oh. Careful. I had security on my ass, and everybody was in a suit, so I didn't think I'd get past the door. Showing what the main street looks like.
Live streaming? You're just recording? Yeah, just for film. Nice. What do you think of this? They're harboring criminals inside there. The Royal York. What do you think of the Royal York Hotel harboring criminals and honoring them? Well, uh, well the trees. They're, they're, they're part of this gang. Yeah. You want to talk about what's going on today? Uh, we're protesting. Uh, we're protesting, protesting based on the clear cuts that's happening in this territory. And where's that for the worldwide the, audience? The uh, Algonquin Territory, uh, northwestern Quebec, and uh, we want to we want to tell the uh, the uh, CEO that he's committing genocide on the people. So, um, That's what I want to tell them. Right on. Idle no more. Idle no more. Yes. <laughs> Yay! So, what, what else you want to say about what's the shape of the land for people that don't know, have no clue? Uh, Try and imagine it for people across the world. Okay, what, uh, what uh, the shape of the land is... Uh, uh, it's like a desert. But, when once it was a lush well, forest? Yeah, well, once it was natural forest. What, what kind of trees? Uh, maple, uh, pine, birch, uh, uh, cedar. You want to say something or start it off? Cedar and uh, yeah. spruce. Okay. Everyone. Uh, Clean water and lakes. Right Pardon? Clean water, yeah, lake. clean water. And now how's the water? Uh, the water is being, being contaminated. Make some noise, uh, all right? There's a lot Thanks of fish. Thanks for coming out, you guys. Yeah, it's, it's got a lot of uh, uh, brown brown spots on them, like tumors. And um, uh, once it was clean fish in that area, now they're they're uh, they're sick. Sir. Based on the, uh, the uh, that, uh, uh, what they're doing on the land, it's no good. You can't afford it. Humans can't afford it. They're destroying the lungs. They're being slowly destroyed and taken away. And they're not even asking me, and they're not asking my family, and not asking my friends. They're just going in and taking it all, and and uh, leaving us nothing. Okay. We're not rich enough where we can fly to the next moon and the next planet. 
okay? This is it. This is all. This is all we got here. So if we don't fight for what we have here today, we're not going to have nothing left tomorrow to fight, and that's the bottom line. So we, we're also very lucky to have members of the Wawate family here today. Uh, the the clear-cutting that's happening by Resolute is on the traditional Wawate trap lines and moose yards. Um, and uh, there, were, there were some people from band council who, who signed an agreement, but they won't produce the agreement. It was an oral agreement now, they claim. But um, we have Solomon Wawate here, and we have Jacob Wawate here. Um, maybe, Jacob, do you want to, as the elder Wawate, would you like to come and uh, address the group? Uh, it seems like our territory uh, that we're using, it's not only the Wawari family, but it's also the Nottaway, the Rats, the Tuskies, uh, the Decorsis. And uh, <laughs> you see, uh, that, that would cover about 10,000 square kilometers. And uh, out of that 30, uh, 10,000 kilo square kilometers, 70% has been cut already. And uh, Residue wants to come and cut uh, another 23% of our territory and uh, leaving only 2%, you know, for our culture and our uh, way of life uh, so we could continue. But we want to. We want to stop this cutting plan for the next five years, I guess, which is uh, to cut the other 23%. So in this way, we would like to have at least a portion of our territory safeguarded for the future generation. And we also want to stop uh, some of the monoculturization that's happening into our territory, which is dispersing all the biodiversity that's that we need for our culture and heritage to, to continue existing. For that's why that's the reason why we want to save our territory. You know, so we, our children for the next seven generation could live off the land like we did. You know, because what they're doing right now with the clear cutting is it's like taking all the medicine away from our our land, all the food all the clothing, all the resources that we may need you know, to exist upon this planet. And we want to make sure that our children may have something such as, such as what we had in our youth. And uh, this is why we'd like to have Garneau consider you know, that we have the right to exist and the future generation to, to exist as well. So therefore, this is what we're standing here for, because we, we're standing here now. Idle no more, you know, is what we believe in. You know, we can't we can't stand on the side anymore. So we have to come and see them, see the people that are doing the businesses, you know, that are neglecting our way of life, our uh, our our territory, which has never been ceded, you know, to the government or anyone. We haven't given consent to the mining, logging, damming, and uh, all the industrialization that has been happening upon our land. So this is why we're standing here. And I say thank you to everybody that are here you know, in support and for people that are listening on a, in the public world, thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Liza, maybe you could you can tell us a little bit about uh, a little bit about this political situation going on right now. And if you can try to speak very loud, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. We've been fighting for the land a long time ago started in 2007 more than uh, before 2007 way back in 1991 we started and we've been going on back to stop this uh, 
clear cut, but nobody doesn't listen to us. Not even the government doesn't even recognize us. And I'm getting fed up with this. And this time we're going to stand up. We're going to go all the way. We're not going to leave them no more. They're not going to cut no more. They're not coming in over there. That's why I'm saying I have enough. And they don't want to listen to us. Well, we're going to stand up all the way. We're going to make all the people stand up together. Full direction has to come together to fight this. It's not only us. We're not only doing this for the, for the family. We're doing this for everybody. I've been saying this for a long time. It's time for us to stand up, not to leave, uh, not to let them destroy over. It's destroying the, the river, everything, the water that we have with that medicine. We'll say the same thing because I live in the bush. I use the land. I don't live in a reserve. It's been 19 years I've been, ever since I grew up, I've been living in the bush. And I see what's wrong at this that uh, this doesn't uh, destroy everything. And it has affected me when I see that. Because I live, I see the way it's going. I live in the bush and I see all the animals got, got killed for that big machine they use. I seen that. You wouldn't like it if we were there. You wouldn't like it at all. I seen a lot of bears destroyed and a lot, lot of little bears and a lot of why animals like uh, beavers get struck, everything, that's no good. Beaver, a long time ago, used to have a thick uh, grease. Now they don't have that because they don't have no more food in their area. Like uh, the bears don't have, don't have that. Me, I live over there. I see everything, what's going on. And they don't see that. The only thing they could see if they come up over and stay over and they'll see what I mean. Dollar signs. So all they see is dollar sign when they go up there. They don't see nice the uh, bush, nice country. No, all they see is dollar sign. You go around over there. Have a, go to a guiding or fishing. No, they don't see nothing. They don't see fish in wild good area, they see dollar sign. That's all I say, thank you. You watch. <laughs> <laughs> we are united, right? United! I don't know more! I don't this know is, more! This is just the beginning! Oh. <laughs> Yar! <laughs> <laughs> so everyone, this is Saul. This is uh, Jacob's uh, younger brother. Uh, in our prophecies, <laughs> it was said that we were going to wait for a little boy. And the little boy is idle no more. The birth of a great nation. We're not doing this for, for our children. We're doing it for all the children. So they have a, a, a natural life uh, that is not, uh, that is not uh, uh, deranged by corporations or uh, multinationals. So uh, I beg, I beg, I beg to, uh, the people that are awake to get together and I don't know more. Because uh, we can change this, we can change, we can change the future, so that uh, the children have a, will have clean water, will have clean air, will have a natural forest they can base their uh, their knowledge on. So uh, wake up, people. I don't know more. You got you. Thank you, Solomon. Hold on. Hold on.
Alright, alright. Look at that little skirt, it's a little proper. Yeah. Yeah, block some entrances. Do you guys want to do a round dance? Oh! Okay, guys. Uh, I want a hug. You're not on camera. I want a hug. I want a hug. I thought it was you. Okay, good. Hero man, hero man. Come up with some chants. Like you remember, just going like. Okay, we're going to head that way and we're going to move around like a bit of a picket line. Okay. Nice. Okay, do you want maybe the staff to be in the front leading? And, and uh, then followed by the idol and then the women inside already. Are they from Barry Lake? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's a long haul, eh? Yeah. Hey, John. Hey, John. I don't know hey, more. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know more. I don't know more. They got a picture of that one. I don't know more. I don't know more. Okay. Respect our right. Respect our right. Our history. I say resolute. You say clear Resolute. Resolute. Apparently they're okay, we're at the other we're side of the building, there's Zach. Yep. We'll follow you. They're at the York side. Okay. So the Bay side here. Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. Jacob, is it possible for you to drop? Jacob? Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, Resolute, you can't hide. We can see your greedy side. Hey, Resolute, do you have children? <laughs> Save your own children and your grandchildren. Stop the clear cut. Stop the logging. Stop the clear cut. Stop, Stop the logging. Log Stop the clear cut. Stop the logging. 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 
Stop the clear cut. Stop the logging. Stop the clear cut. Stop the logging. We're here to tell Resolute Forestry they can no longer clear cut on unceded land. This is land that has never been signed away to the Canadian government and is not Canada. Resolute Forestry is committing ecocide against the traditional people and all life. about what's going on for Resolute and Well, I always stand with people that are protecting the land and I like what the um, woman said holding the crime against humanity sign that, you know, that they have their own law and it's natural law and that's what I think we all should return to. If you dig back deep enough, every culture has a time when they were respecting natural law and, and um, we've really gone really far away from that and so I think I echo her sentiment um, in terms of that being a big message today. And of course, clear cut, clear cut logging is the most destructive form of, you know, forestry. And they, you can't really get into forestry because it completely destroys forests. <laughs> um, just because, you know, it cuts down labor costs. And, you know, I just think that, like, we should completely reject that sort of logic that labor costs is a justification for the further des destruction of um, the earth because obviously people actually need jobs and we also need a healthy planet and what we don't need is, is more profits for corporate heads <laughs> and that's the only thing that practices such as clear-cut mining uh, create. 
pay is more profits, more destruction, and less jobs. So it's really like a no-brainer. Um, so I'm just here to stand with them today because, um, you know, I, I think that everyone should be standing for them. Thank you, Sakura. Hmm? Yar, you, you want to add anything? Standing in solidarity um, with our indigenous brothers and sisters who resist logging all across the continent. And the Algonquins have really made it clear that they don't want any kind of logging at all within their own traditional territories. And um, I was standing um, in solidarity with them. Um, and it's the same thing that happens with our people in southern Chile, with the Mapuche people of southern Chile as well. We're fighting against same, many logging companies that are going into our territories, logging down millennial trees from our not from from our woods and so i can't do anything else but send a solidarity with my brothers and sisters here to be able to express that this is our land this is our right to be here and they have absolutely no authority or jurisdiction to be able to log or anything else on our territory so money she will <laughs> thank you no worries with clear cutting of sickness loss of habitat <laughs> <laughs> Lots of biodiversity. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, enjoy the sun. Ha, ha, ha. 
Oh, no. Oh, no. Look, it's a big bear. Oh. Oh, there we go. Nanny Bush. Go, Jay's go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can do a round dance right, right here. No, apparently they're on that corner. Who's on that corner? That's where they're actually honoring that. Richard Garneau there. Oh, on that corner? Yeah. Like, uh, where is she? She knows. Um, ask her. She knows exactly where they are. Okay. Oh, this lady here. That's, that's what they did. Like, the, they're, they're, they're cutting in the area where. Uh, We're the Empire Club, and they're honoring that guy. Wild animals, and they don't consider uh, the lives of uh, animals uh, the area. We found that. Hey, John. Uh, we found that little baby, uh, little baby uh, on the ground, falling from the nest. So uh, that. That little hawk has helped us a lot. Uh, uh, it's uh, my, my dad's strap. Uh, see the the uh, the, uh, the way the way we base uh, the river system. So we heard that the the so room that they're meeting in is just down the way over here. So if you want to bring ourselves down there. And then we can make lots of noise to tell them that they're not welcome to do that on un unceded land, and they're not welcome to do it on this land either. Okay, so let's uh, let's let's bring bring things down a bit. Um, just need a volunteer to hold this the other side of this sign. Be great. Okay, uh, let's let's bring it down a bit. Resolute Forestry, Corporate Criminal! Corporate Judge. Come on, you guys. I don't know more! 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 I don't know more. I don't know more. Yeah, he's also charged. Give it to him. I don't know more. 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 Come on, give us a chorus. I don't know more. 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 Isn't it amazing how people like are just zooming by in the big city here?
you can hide, we can see your eco side. Hey, Resolute, you can hide, we can see your eco side. Hey, Resolute, you can hide, we can see your eco side. Hey, Resolute, you can hide, we can see your eco side. Hey, Resolute, you can hide, we can see your eco side. Hey, Resolute, you can hide. We can see your ego side. Hey, Resolute, you can hide. We can see your ego side. Hey, Resolute, you can hide. We can see your ego side. Hey, I don't know more. 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 Don't know more. Don't know more. It's that mountain voice. It's Harry! <laughs> wow, this is like a wedding line or something. <laughs> no more clear cutting on unseated land! Okay, guys, so actually. Uh, where he's standing is around the corner. So we're going to bring it around the corner. Hey, Resolute, stop your clear cuts! Clear cut Canadian crime, corporate criminal CEOs! Clear cut Canadian crime, corporate criminal CEO! Clear cut Canadian crime, corporate criminal CEO! Clear cut Canadian crime, Corporate criminal CEO. Clear cut Canadian crime. Corporate criminal CEO. Clear cut Canadian crime. Corporate criminal CEO. Part of Bay Street. This is York Street. We're at the gates. No, no. Down with Resolute. No, no. No, no. Show your evil face! <laughs> Show your face! Show, Show your, your evil face! Show your face! Show your evil face! Show your face! Show your evil face! development, clear-cutting Aboriginal land, unceded Anishinaabe territory is not sustainable. We'll teach you our history. We'll teach you your history if you can listen. Or do you just listen to the money in the bank? <laughs> Yar. Money talks, bullshit walks. <laughs> <laughs> So um, this this situation being on unceded territory and the devastation and amount of clear cutting means that this could be the next uh, you know the next Clayquot Sound and the next large uh, forestry standoff and we just need the people in Montreal, Toronto, and Ottawa to get together this spring 
and go up there and kick resolute forestry out. We're not signing deals. We're working with the traditional people who say no forestry because they know that no amount of money will solve the problems that clear cutting creates. These people live on the land in the traditional way to this day as they always have. Their DNA is in the rivers and in the in the systems and this is what we got to stop. So if I don't know more wants to accomplish something in addition to all the other things that it has already accomplished, this could be one site of a major, major spot of resistance to make precedent for what I don't know more can do. And then deforestation contributes how much to uh, climate change? 15, 20 percent? Like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's it, I read it, well, a, a the thing is like, it's huge. not just that it contributes to climate change. It's unjustifi unjustifiable yeah. in terms of the local ecosystem. Oh, absolutely. It's absolutely deadening to yeah. that area. And guess who depends on the water that flows down from there? Ottawa and Montreal. Mm -hmm. So literally, people have become expendable to industry. Mm -hmm. Yar. <laughs> Filming you? Filming yes. We're taking back what's ours, has been ours since press. How long? Oh. <laughs> Talk about your territory and what the destruction Our, of the trees has meant. It hurts to see my territory go down like that without a question. Because I believe what my dad has always taught us. Corporate and my dad is Joe Bawadi. And my brothers, Jacob Wawari and Solomon, they are my brothers and I stand up to them and I believe what they're doing because they have been doing this since I was young also. Now I'm passing it down to my own granddaughter, which she's going to be two this summer because I need her to see her future in the woods too, not just in the city. Because everything we believe is in the bush, not only in the city. Thank you. Yeah, just right here. Yeah, just right there. Here, Nidia. Hello. I'm not a bear. I'm not a bear, really. I'm not. <laughs> this is my other daughter. Hello. This is the mother of my granddaughter. Hey. And we're all Gonquins. Nice. I don't know more. <laughs> I don't know more. are the people who built the, the birch bark canoes that yes. started the trading. Trading, not on the stock market. We got trading and started the history of this country. Why don't you respect that? Why don't you get your history together? Your history is our history. So learn it. Our language. You should learn the Algonquin language. You don't even know our language. You're too stupid to learn it. So start learning because you're going to have to use it. They didn't hear that, and they're a lot more deaf than we figured. <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Huh? I hadn't noticed. Yeah, I hadn't noticed. <laughs> Listen, I had a store in Toronto for 30 years, right? And you know what I tell people? <coughs> These <coughs> jognos that don't understand. I say it's like pounding a black ash log, you know, when you make those uh, baskets, you weave those baskets, you have to pound the, you have to pound the tree stumps to loosen the fibers. That's what we got to do for a little more! <laughs> <laughs> Yarr! I think so. <coughs> we will. Something's going to have to get that here sooner or later, you know? So these guys think it's all a game and a joke. They don't take it seriously, you know. So I don't know what we're going to have to do now, you know. Well, they've been getting away with it for years because of the government. You see, like, we are so diversified across the whole country of Canada, right? We're just as diversified as a, as a country of Europe. We could never get together, right? 
because it's too far. We don't have money. We're not making money like, like Bay Street corporate people make money no matter what, no matter who they destroy. I mean, they're even going to make walkways from one condo to the other, mm -hmm. you know? I mean, it's all cement. It's all cement, right? Do you people know that Young Street was a trade route? That's where the that's where the birch bark canoes went trading, right? What do they do? They fill it up with concrete, for heaven's sakes. How the hell can you breathe? <laughs> how can you paddle no? Uh, how can you paddle now? <laughs> do, you, do you think at any time they ever consulted First Nations people for any sort of development? Was there any consultation at all? No, no it's always been no. just so broken who promises. Who's breaking the laws here? If there are any laws being applied, are there any laws being broken? Well, if, yes, of course. They're always breaking the laws. They have, they have uh, uh, greedy laws. They have laws that satisfy the lawyers in in Ottawa. All those guys sitting up there, those MPs, they have to be lawyers before they're before they're practically in, in government. They know they know their laws inside out. There's loopholes everywhere. What's the sad reality of all this? Once all these trees disappear, what what's next for mankind? Death, right? Death and destruction for everybody. Not not just our children, but their children as well. We want people to understand this. We want we want the environment to be saved. We want it to be saved. We 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 were the people that that protected the environment. Now we need help. We need all you, all you uh, people to, to understand that your, 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 your young people are not going to be able to live properly in See, the future. What the government is telling us, dictating to us, is that we need to assimilate. Assimilate? Oh, sure. That's what they want us to do so they could just take our land over. Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Assimilate. So they could, uh, they've gotten enough land through crooked deals. I mean, that's why our languages are important, right? <laughs> our language was an oral language passed down from generation to generation. They came over here with the, with the British language, the British law, right? And said, this is what you have to understand. And we, we never got educated because we were never able to have that education. But now we are getting educated. There are a lot of people here in the city of Toronto that are very well educated and know what's going on. But we're educated in our own languages, in our own cultures. That's our education. We don't have to follow the white society for our education. And that's what I follow. As a young grandmother, I teach my grandkids, my granddaughter, as an education, which is Algonquin. And I teach her everything as much as I learned from my own grandparents. And that's a good point to bring up too, because is our children getting properly educated? No. I say no, because there's too much going against their own parents and they're using a lot of money on their own parents to get this and that. We never used to do that before. We used, we used the bush to learn everything and how to hunt, to eat, to cook, to make clothes, everything like that. We didn't have to, we didn't have to bribe our kids to learn. Do you think the white man is using our own people to divide us? To divide us? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. They've been doing that forever, but now we have learned with the media that we can join together and be united, and you're going to get a hell of a shock because we are going to join together. Everybody, Mohawks, so everybody, Cree. You know, we got a, an action coming up in June, eh? It's June 1st. Yeah. And we want to put you guys on there okay. as part of our, I uh, want to invite you guys okay. back here on uh, June 1st and uh, we're going to try to make it a month long event. How do you find out about it? Well, that's the problem, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, just, just, you can just, yeah, you can ask, uh, add Jay, Jay or, or me, John Fox, Jay Flor yeah, yeah, John Fox, or, uh, or Jason Flory, and uh, Eagle Fox, and then uh, we'll add you guys and then we'll put you guys on the, on the schedule. Because I really want to help. I really yeah. want to help. Like, I have a lot of tools. Yeah. We've got, uh, we got people coming in from the States and all over the place for this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So I can pass it around with my yeah. family. So that's June 1st is a, is a oh, Saturday. Yeah, June 1st is a Saturday. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
June first as a Saturday. Okay. Okay. We haven't so we haven't said where we're going to meet first yeah. because we're still working on the details. Yeah. Uh, but it's going to be and I guess two months from now, right? Less than two months. Yeah. But before a couple weeks before the where we're going to meet and where we're going to march to, we're going to let people know. Yeah, yeah, let's know ahead of time. So. I've got a sign that I want to have laminated. Yeah. Do you know what it is? It's a it's a First Nations person, a, a man, and he's crying. The tears are coming down, and and all and he's got animals dying on the sides. They're turned upside down. No. And the name of it is Nature's. Women. Auntie, come here. Yeah. Um. So I want there's to have me, that me, me Uh, when we when we come to your thing, maybe we can uh, I don't know, like because uh, we're going to court for this right now. Yeah. And, uh, well, we like we like you guys to come in and educate uh, the public and what the, what's it about, right? Yeah. Because a lot of people don't know what's going on. They don't even know where Barrier Lake is. Yeah. So we want people like you guys to come down and uh, and this join is us. SOS okay. That's our territory. Okay, want, the territory want, we're fighting for. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, talk about the history of Canada. She lives and, uh, on the, the territory uh, right now. Yeah. Me, I'm, uh, I'm with my kids when they're going to school. But uh, I, I go, I go there. Well, my, I used to go see my sister when she was when we started the, the fight. And uh, and I told her I was gonna keep going because we lost my sister last month, uh, last two weeks ago. That that the four of us right here. My sister, and my auntie, and my other auntie. There's only three of us here now. But uh, my my sister passed okay. away. So, but we still want to do as much as we can, right? We want to be part of all this island more. And uh, we all want to talk about it. And there's uh, seven grandmothers, seven grandmothers that are talking about right? uh, and what and, what really needs to be out there and, uh, and she's, they're educating everybody right now yeah. you know what i mean right yeah. so that yeah that's what we that's what we want to do she's right? one of them and uh, my right? aunt my aunt is uh, so as a young sister ever feel bad that we were never she's one of the seven grandmothers that's speaking for the for the territory called the idle more because they idle us they would not have been able to survive, right? And so I'm an elder and I want young people and everyone to believe that. Don't ever let them make you feel ignorant because because we're not. We're more educated than they ever were, right? <laughs> God, the, environment, the history of the environment, we taught it, right? So don't kill it. We're not going to allow you to kill it at all. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> 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 you. Thank 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 you. <laughs> filming you, filming me. So, <laughs> so maybe we can talk about that. Uh, Are you the machines exhibition? Someone went to the channel. Last time I was there was a Wait, I'm going to talk about that. That's a. What did you get? Did you do that one? What do you mean? Saw. 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 Your cousin wants your sister wants you. Sister, yeah. Probably both. <laughs> you got a megaphone. Yeah, I think don't know what to use it though. Oh, okay. What's the base? 
Too close. <laughs> you got other people coming in. <laughs> yeah, put it on. That's right. That's what you do. <laughs> Surrounded by construction site. <laughs> Yar. You're on candy camera. <laughs> no? Not even a smile. They're too serious. Everybody that goes in here is so serious. Oh, your sign fell down. Your sign fell down. Yeah, that's your sign. Oh no, it's a bear! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
myself and Richard are just like, Yar. So how many uh, people have we got watching today with us? It's uh, I, it's hard to see the screen. Uh, it's really hard to see. Well, you can Money. see that area there. Oh. <laughs> Yar. John Jacob, folks. Yar. Hey, everybody. Hey, uh, yeah, hey, uh, oh. I don't speak. <laughs> We're four tons. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so is this live streaming now? To the world. Oh, I just want to say hello to the world. And uh, thanks for supporting our cause here in Canada. Canada. Not Canada. Canada. Can you remind people what Canada means? Yeah, yeah. Canada means Yeah, Canada. Well, supposedly means uh, village. But that's what they called it. When they first found us <laughs> near near Montreal, Quebec City area. Yeah. Champlain. Yeah. Champlain. That's what they called our country. Canada. Well, they was mistaken. They, the village. Yeah. But that's a little about the history of the country. So. But it's a beautiful day here for a protest against the clear cutting in Quebec and the Algonquin traditional territories. I'd just like to say miigwech to all the people who come out here to support this great cause. And to our fine fella here who's live streaming. Oh, shuck. I'm blushing. <laughs> So that's about all I got to say. I'm not much of a talker. I'm a doer. Yep. So that's what everybody knows. See, and, and right up there on the second floor, <coughs> they're honoring that criminal. It's almost like an embassy. They're harboring criminals in there. Yeah, that's true. You know, at the Ritzius Hotel in Toronto, the Royal York. Look at all these people just flying by. Not maybe, even. maybe we should ask some of these people walking by what they think, you know? Like, what do you, you think know, about what's going on here? You got a second? We're live to the world. No? No? What do you think is going on here, sister? No? Toronto, they're too busy. Well, We're in the financial guy district. Like he's, uh, or is he security or I don't know. It seems like a agent provocateur. Too well dressed. Oh, there's my hometown flag here. Yar, let's have a good look. Oh, Donnie, show the hometown flag here. Where, where is this territory? It's up on the North Shore of Lake Ontario. Ah, Serpent River. And how do you pronounce the name at the bottom? Nish! <laughs> For sure. It's also known as Kanapajing. Uh -huh. Long story behind that name, though. So, uh, so it's uh, north of Manitoulin Island, then? Or yeah, that area? It's right across from Manitoulin Island. Yeah, yeah. Part of the Anishinaabe base. So nice. People. Nish. What do you think of all this? It's amazing. We need more, more things like this happening. We're in for the long haul. We're, we're getting started. Yeah. You know, it's all about deprogramming people and educating them. Uh, information and social conscience and whatever we could use to make that happen. Yep. Nation to nation building. Yep. And the whole world's watching. And the beautiful thing about live stream, it's instantly archived. When I press stop, within 30 seconds, people at home can watch it. Yeah, right on. Yeah. More information out there, 
you know, and the more uh, we make aware to the public of the atrocities, you know, that people face, been through, and we're uh, embracing our heritage and healing. You know, some of it is through protesting. Some of it is healing the inside. Teachings. Because it's, uh, it's in our blood, it's in our DNA. Yeah, long Nobody houses. can't take that away with us. Can you imagine this year, the the pow powwow season? Oh, yeah, exactly. oh man, the powwow season, it's going to be like no other. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's going to be good. <laughs> nice. And Manitoulin has some, uh, Island has some great powwows. Yeah, yeah, I've been up there a few times. Uh, yeah. One of my uh, granddaughters live up there. She just turned one. You know, and that's what this is all about. You know, for future generations to come. Actually, I gotta go in. The more we do this, the more, the more the change is happening. Nice. What do you think of all this? What do you think of all this, bro? Too busy? Yeah. Yar. Good. Like a Royal York. Live stream. You're live to the world, by the way. You're live to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Not that they can hear you. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, in the future they could. Uh, I'll probably be, uh, uh, sort of, there's a little park. Uh, on the west side of Roy Thompson Hall, you know, which is just the uh, hill west of uh, the Andrew Station. Maybe meet there. Want to meet there? Yeah, St. Andrew Station is Canyon University Subway Station. Roy Thompson Hall is just uh, like literally a block and a half west of there on King. And to the west side of Roy Thompson, the big Um is a little park. When we meet there around that time. Yeah. Yeah. Cause what I got to do next is in that area. John, actually. King and John, or just before you get John. It's, it's about like a block and a half west of King on the south side. But the key is to go to St. Andrews subway station. So if you're coming from Scarborough, get off at St. George subway and go down to St. Andrews, which is King. But it's called St. Andrews subway. No, no subway. It's subway all the way. No, no, no. Uh, at St. George, which is the floor down fourth line, east west line. You switch to the north south and you go south on the university line to St. Andrew subway and then walk west. Uh, there, there'll be signs there for Roy Thompson Hall, right? Yeah, yeah. You can't miss the park. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. That's all right. Yep. All righty. Okay. Bye. I'm going to knock somebody out with this flag by the end of the day. Not intentionally either. Just waiting to get around. Just something set up.
They wave in the other hand. Yeah, that's tough for sure. You know that old story. Jason, what do you got to say? What do I got to say? Well, who's going to listen to me this time? I have the whole world to listen to me. Nobody ever listens to me. So. Who in the heck's going to listen to this radical anyway? So, but I uh, do. <laughs> first of all, I like to acknowledge the traditional territories that we're on. Okay, that's the first and foremost things that uh, we have to always do whenever we're asked to speak in public. This is a beautiful day for us and our people and our elders and our children. It doesn't matter the amount of people that are here today. The point is. The creator's happy that we're here today, and that's all that matters. Uh, but the viewers that are watching, we appreciate your support, and we appreciate your enthusiastic. What we ask everybody to do is to start talking about this, uh, this rape, this, this pilgrimages, this, this killing of our people, of our land, of our territories. Um, things are really going to happen this year during 2013. Uh, there's a lot of signs indicating that this is not going to be a good year for us, and uh, so, and this is a good start. But it will make for a very, very interesting and rejuvenated powwow season. Absolutely, <laughs> yes, yes, and we thank everybody for coming out today and for watching us, for live streaming it. Uh, without these awesome, wonderful people, these types of events would go unnoticed and unheard. Okay, so everybody that is here today has made some sort of sacrifice to be here. It's not about them, it's about the land that we call home, and it's about the land that provides us a home. Our people are disappearing at an, at an alarming rate today. Every day, three or four of our children go missing. And this is all related. Every bit of this crime that occurs in our territories, it's all related. And it's up to us. We can't point fingers at the Harper government or anybody else. It is up to us. It's us. That is going to make a difference. Nation to nation building. Absolutely. Okay. So I thank everybody. Now, uh, speaking of powwow, just off the top of your head, some important powwow. Just off the top of your head, name them and where. Oh, there's all sorts of powwows. The biggest one is the one in Albuquerque, New Mexico. That's the biggest powwow that everybody uh, travels down Where's to. That? Oh, when? In, in New Mexico, um, it's probably happening about now in April, May. Uh, they have their big powwow that everybody heads down to. Um, the other big powwows is right here in Toronto. There's a huge powwow at the end of the at the uh, in the fall. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and there's now, uh, for those people watching that don't have heard about a powwow, but don't actually know what what it is, what it, the meaning is for the First Nations people. <laughs> well, first of all, the word powwow is a colonial word, okay? It's not a powwow. Okay. It's a celebration, all right? Okay. So let's put that aside. Well, that's good okay. to know. It is a celebration of life. So when our people get together, we're like celebrating crazy. life. Well, this guy's crazy. And with that comes again, comes protocols and traditions. So we have grass dancers, fancy dancers, but the first and foremost are the elders. Without the elders, our ceremonies would, would have disappeared already. So. Again, it's up to us to protect our elders and our children. 
Because when we protect our elders and our children, we're protecting the future. Protect, we're protecting the integrity of our culture, of our history. And the plow always is, is huge, it's huge. Uh, historically, it, it was dead. It fell apart. It just slowly disappeared because we were, at that point, struggling just to survive. But slowly, over a period of time, uh, our celebrations uh, started coming back and it started giving us our power and it started giving us our voices back. So, like everything else. We're thankful. We're thankful for that. Nice. Thank you. Thank you there, Jason. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, everybody, for being out there and taking the time out to to listen to us and support us and to hear us and uh, start talking about it and, uh, you know, educating not only yourself, but educate your family and your friends about what's really going on here, not be taken in by the media. <laughs> because the media is going to lie to you guys and, and, and they're going to say that everything's okay. You know, in fact, it's the opposite. So. We live streamers are the new media. And you know what I like to say, I've been saying of late, since November, we are idle no more Absolutely, yes. because we're occupying our minds. Absolutely, it's yes. the merger of those yes. two. The best of Occupy has always been a live stream. Yes, absolutely. You know, the sword and shield of the social media yes. usage. Yes. And, and you, you see... You know, you are the yes. part of 40 yes. days and 40 yes. nights. Yes. And that's Sacred the nice fire. thing about all this, is that we can use technology in a good way, okay? We don't have to use this technology to destroy us. We can actually use this technology in a good way so that our children will have a safe future. Okay, but right now as it stands, we're using this technology to kill us. Right now as I stand here, I'm taking in so much radiation and so much gas emissions and, uh, you know, all these radiations from cell phones and cell phone towers. You know, it's it's the technology. We don't need it. We didn't need it before. We certainly don't need it today. So, yeah. Smoke signal. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much for being out here. It's Thank you. Taking the time. You're welcome. All right, it's yeah. important. It's really important. It's important to me. It's important to my family, and it's important to my friends that uh, this be seen because we know the government's going to buy everything. And to instantly archive. Yes. Yes. Careful. Careful. <gasps> Thank you. The big city slickers. Yes. Busy, busy, busy. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Always, yes. I mean, since I stood here in five minutes, I've seen like a thousand people run by me, you know? I know. And, uh, you know I want to know where they're all going in such a big rush. I know. Right? I know. <laughs> Serpent River. Oh, I love that logo. They're actually going to have an, uh, um, there's an event here. When is it? In about a month? May 9th. It's a uh, Mother, Mother Day weekend. Yeah. There's an event up there to, uh, it's to protect Mother Earth and the water. Uh, a friend of mine from back up north, Candace Bay. At Serpent River or here in Toronto? Serpent River. On uh, May 9th weekend. It's Mother Day weekend. And it's the... Uh, it's just to bring awareness to, to protect Mother Earth and our water for our future generations. So everybody's invited. Maybe I should get you up there to live stream it. We're gonna, we're gonna have a powwow. Suppose gonna have a powwow and uh, drumming, singing, and maybe maybe uh, shutting down the main main highway this that goes through there. This is gonna be an amazing powwow season. Yeah, so. I'm not gonna pan over. And I grew up right near the river. My dad's got a nice spot there. Beautiful, beautiful up there. They pushed me too far. I'm back. Beautiful up there in the Great White North. I'm on to bring the east and the west together. Yeah. That's right. Okay, guy, you can feel it. Film it in front of here. My uncle was gonna enter here. Give it a turn. 360. Slowly. Slowly. That's an eagle, yes, it correct? Is. That's my eagle staff, yeah. I want it from here. I'm the medicine man. I'm a shaman, brother. Practicing shaman every day. Every now, day. okay, uh, I won't film you because I know you're from St. James Park. What's the difference between a shaman and a medicine yeah. man for people that don't know? I don't know herbs. I don't know herbs. Um, but I'm a healer. I'm a healer. I can light work. I'm a light worker, you know, but I'm not. I use the yang, light and dark. Well, okay. uh, it helps. 
to become one with the Creator, you know, and all creation, elemental, earth, wind, and fire. I'm just kidding. You know, nice. critters, everything. Critters, people, everything. I'd like the world to learn to live in harmony with nature instead of destroying everything in sight for the stupid money. That uh, you know, after the last tree, I, I was saying I've been saying it for years now. After the last tree has been cut down, and only after the last river has been poisoned, and only after the last as uh, uh, last fish has been caught, only then will man find that they cannot eat money. Okay, and I've been saying that for years, man. I live that, right? I came from out of the wilderness just recently, and I wish to protect. And I'm going to Algonquin territory to speak to the spirits, to speak to the the elementals and see what can be done. I'm going to intervene for the Algonquin Territory. Nice. And trust me, something will come. Because I'm pissed I'm on the war path and I look forward to it again. What do you think of all this, sister? Your life to the world. Oh, I scared her. I scared her. Sometimes you got to scare what, him straight. Why does this guy have a laptop for him? I call it scaring him straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, maybe it was the beard. <laughs> I know. No, she's a money person. She's a money person. We're anti money people. Yes. That's it. But I know a lot more. A whole lot more. That will come to me out. Actually, everybody yeah. on one They're scared of us. That's why. We're love by forces far greater than okay. understanding. Oh my god, look. I just noticed. You know what? She stopped and looked. Look at what she was looking at. It has nothing to do with us. Excuse me, brother. It's about the island airport. And here I thought she was information yeah. about us. It's wow. a shuttle to uh, the island airport. What the hell? <laughs> oh, one of the rare people that stopped. It wasn't even for us. Montreal last year, I think so, at the, uh, the big statue there, Mount Yeah, 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 it's going good. At the same time as this? Yeah. Maybe CU TV will uh, cover it. Maybe. Oh. And I still have your cell number. You got the same one you had last fall, right? Yeah. Okay, you got my cell number. Yep. I won't say live because we're live to the world. Yeah. Oh. I'll say. So, <laughs> oh! <laughs> How long are you in town? Just sitting. From men and white people took off. Took us eight hours to get here. Eight? Yeah, something like that. 
talk more about your territory and what the clear cutting and what this resolute and this the CEO and why we're here today in Toronto at the Royal York. He's being honored by the Empire Club, you know, with some sustainable development and uh, how so good and, and the media spin. And I bet you, I bet you, I bet you that the media coverage about what we did today is going to be, unless what I'm doing now and what we videotape, mainstream media will talk about the glorious praise of this Richard Garneau and Resolute, how sustainable and how, you know, the whole media spin, but on the ground, what's it like on the ground, really? Uh, on my way down here, I saw a lot of empty fields where they could uh, practice monoculture, industrialize the woods instead of cutting our territory and and pretend we don't exist. We exist out there, we live out there, we feed out there, we feed out there. And, uh, what, uh, what Resolute is doing is uh, telling us we don't exist. You're not even consulting you anymore. No. And, uh, it's your territory. Yeah. And, uh, it's it's, it's like a robber coming into your house. Yeah. Digging in your fridge, taking the stuff you need to survive. They're kicking you out of your bed because they want yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. So that's what they're and doing. And the land is suffering. The land. Land, I think like, you were saying earlier about seventy percent of the land is uh, seventy. Oh, sorry, the trees. Seventy percent of the land is already cut. It's been going on since ninety-one. And oh, every, that's it. Ninety-one. Yeah. Since you think 90. they could do that in like fifty years? That's like twenty years. Holy shit! And uh, wow. And uh, uh, they're taking 400 cubic meters a year uh, to furnish their mills. And they're doing that, they've been doing that for 20 odd years. So there's only 23% left, and that's what they're going to cut. And they're going to save 2% around. Uh, the domain area for tourists. It's uh, five miles by five five miles square. That's what they're gonna say to attract tourists and say it's beautiful out there. And, um, it's not true. And you were talking about the water. The animals, for some of the people that tuned in late, talk about the effects of the trees disappearing well, on the water and the animals. The a natural forest will sustain animals because we believe that our DNA comes from the land. So they're destroying the land. Like Therefore, destroying our DNA, and they're destroying the food for the animals that we feed on, which helps to destroy the DNA. So nobody exists but uh, logging companies in our, in our territory, in our unceded territory. You have to have big they have no proof, right they have no document that says it belongs to them. Catch, right? And there's a court case at the NIU? And uh, we have a court case. Uh, right now we have a court case uh, fighting Resolute. And uh, the government, the government uh, put in from 100,000 
like the 400,000 per year for corporate judges. There is no room what, what for is Caesar? What is Caesar? Is uh, a human human rights judge or environmental what judges. What is there is no money for them. However, there are a lot of money for corporate judges. So when we went to court, it was a corporate judge that heard the case and according to the judge, according to the Crown, which the judge believed that uh, that uh, they, they, uh, they rendered a judgment in uh, for the favor of Resolute. And when was this? Uh, last fall. And why did, why, again, why did they decide when they raped and pillaged your land without consultation and they, how did they possibly get away with that? <laughs> they, they're avoiding, they're, they're avoiding the subject. That's why there's idle no more. Because, uh, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting, they're waiting. So they can win a case, but they're not gonna win a case because we're out there. We live off the land. We're not all on reserves. And uh, with us, with us, it's better to have a corporate judge that's gonna deal for the corporations. Because they don't, the corporate judges don't see human rights issue, environmental issues. They don't see that. They make, they pave the way for corporate corporations to be able to carry on to destroy the land. Now, for people that tuned in late. Tell people the name of your territory in uh, northeast, northwestern Quebec. It's uh, the Anishinaabe territory. I represent uh, the Algonquin traditional circle of elders of the One Nation. So we believe that we don't follow the government agenda of divide and conquer. That's why we we feel that it's Algonquin territory. It's not Barrier Lake. It's not Manawaki. It's not uh, Grand Lake. Or it's not Leximo. It's Algonquin territory. And this, the, the issue has never been dealt with. They just went ahead to say, you belong on the reserve, therefore it's our land. Now, have you done any blockades there? Yes, we did a blockade. The Barrier Lake blockade. Yeah, that's that's when they put an injunction on us. How and long that, did they allow? You did two, I believe. Uh, we did a bunch. We did uh, three so far. We How did, long were they, did they last? Uh, the first time they charged my brother for obstruction of... Uh, what year was this? in 1992 I think and uh, they lost the court case and uh, but it took 18 months to hear the case and that 18 months they continued logging and, uh, and they just they just put a, a uh, what do you call that? Uh, injunction? Uh, an injunction and conditions on my brother uh, to uh, <laughs> not to block to divide him. him from his people. Yeah. Typical. Typical. So, uh, so after after they get after they found him not guilty, uh, they were finished logging. And that's what they're trying to do now. Now they they they're saying that if we uh, if we interfere with their operation, uh, with their clients, 
no more problems. Or the business that they deal with, it's uh, it goes against their injunction upon us. Now, when was the second uh, blockade of Barrier Lake? The second blockade was Liza Chief and her family. Just behind our house, they clear cut that. What, and, what uh, year was that blockade? Uh, 97. And it's still in court. Because they don't address the, the, the land title issue. They're saying, they're saying we come from someplace else. We don't belong there. How long did those two first two blockades last about? Uh, you see, the uh, Barrier Lake, the community of Barrier Lake signed a deal with uh, the government, which is called the Trilateral Agreement, and uh, which recognized that it was titled. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So the, but the, the people did not agree with the trilateral agreement, which is why they did the blockades. The family that didn't agree with the trilateral agreement blocked the companies from cutting. So uh, they continued and they continued until. Uh, some individuals came to see us. We don't want them cutting. We got to do something. So we then, then did another blockade. And that's when uh, Resolute to cut the court to put an injunction on it. And when was, what was the, the third one? What the third year? one was uh, uh, last year. Yeah. For the Wawadi family. Is that one still going on? Yeah, that's... That's about a year now, or how yeah, long is that? Uh, but... Uh, and the, and that, has that stopped the logging? No, we appealed, we appealed the court ruling. We told them that their... Uh, that their uh, judgment was unconstitutional against the UN proclamation on an indigenous rights against their own laws, against the Colton case from BC, which was rendered by the Supreme Court a few years ago. I don't know the date, but it's the same thing. And they refuse to acknowledge that. Uh, they don't want to, they don't want to talk about that in our court case. However, we insist that it's unceded territory, and uh, we want we want to hear the Quebec government and the Quebec the the federal government acknowledge that, but they don't want to hear. It. They're trying to to manipulate the court system. Yesterday. They were supposed to hear our uh, request to finance uh, our case. It's uh, it's uh, federal government responsibility to protect the lands of uh, the native community, but it's they're making it harder for us to get the financing to protect our lands. Because they they sleep together. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to say to the world about what to do next? Wake up, what, world! What they could do to help? Wake up, world! It's not only for our kids. The corporations are taking over human lives. Uh, and they're, they're playing with your fears, uh, they're playing with your frustration. We know you got payments to make, we know you got houses to pay, but uh, you got to realize that uh, 
the the banks are insured by the queen and uh, your interest that you're paying is uh, goes back directly to the queen so and don't, eventually to the vatican yeah eventually to the vatican aka the, the crown yeah and the vatican also uh, owns the beers company they know where all the diamonds go to because they the beers cuts diamonds and they know where to go they know where it goes and it's a cartel the beers yeah belgian company it's, it belongs to the vatican eventually yes yes yep no i i you know uh yeah the crown and uh don't kid yourself if you think the queen has nothing to do with canada you got to understand that the royal mint produces money and there's no royalty in canada so how come they call it the royal mint of canada <laughs> and the royal bank belongs to the queen uh can you hold up what what's uh what's the queen's bank called uh the bank of england no there's another one or oh, or oh, the bank of england's a private entity that's right uh i don't know i know the name but it's not coming to me right now but uh it belongs to the queen and they insure all the banks of the commonwealth same thing is happening in uh, australia the same thing in new zealand wherever yeah. wherever uh, what we call the commonwealth and uh, down in down in mexico uh, the group in north america they call it the golden seal no the golden love the Well, the vatican's called the holy see s e e okay that's what the vatican uh, officially the order of the garter for north america and for south america is the golden seal which comprises of uh, spain portugal even japan and uh, the north, the order, the garter, belongs to the Queen of England, the King of France, King of uh, uh, um, Netherlands. Netherlands, yeah. And those, those are the the people controlling the money. The Leverandri Park, the individual that claimed that state comes from Belgium. Explain that. Well, when, when the kings and queens distributed the lands in the Americas, they gave Quebec to the King of France and to England, the rest of Canada, including the U.S. <laughs> and they, they claim a stake in different areas. All the, or, all the royalties are paid to those uh, kings and queens. And eventually always to the Vatican. Vatican. The Queen of England is the princess of the Roman Catholic Church. They're all related. Yeah. The crown. Yeah. The king, the kings and queens in the Vatican. And the new version of what you just spoke about is what's called the Bilderberg Group, which it's named after a hotel in the Netherlands. Huh? Um, where they used to meet, 
back in 90, 91. And every year they move it around. But because it started there in Holland, Netherlands, they call it the Bilderberg Group, or sometimes referred to as the One World Order. Thanks. They're all rounding Thanks. Need it. at hyperspeed. All they're, they're circling their wagons, like the old days. What's that triangle with the eye on it? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Now, ultimately, it all goes back to the Vatican. Even though they got a Jesuit as a pope, that's not going to change anything. Uh, uh, also, uh, <coughs> the, uh, the these groups apply the doctrine of discovery, apply the Magna Carta, and they rule the world. Yeah. With they force, think, they think. With force, with weapons. Well, the first weapon yeah, of we mass. We got the numbers. The first weapon of mass destruction was a smallpox blanket. Yeah. By and, British uh, officers, no less. And the starvation. Yeah. That, that, yeah. But you know what? You know what they forget? We have the numbers. And historically, in history, when the numbers and the masses rise up, they always overthrow the system. Always. When they stop being divided and conquered, when they do nation and nation building, when the numbers wake up, there's no way. They, it, it might take a little bit of time, but they always went out. Always. That's why there's I don't know more. Yep. I don't know more, people. I don't know more. We're idle no more because we're occupying our mind. Mm -hmm. It's all about, for me, as a filmmaker turned live streamer, it's all about deprogramming people, right? Yeah. And part of that deprogramming because is education. And as a documentary filmmaker who always specialized for a third of a century in live events, that I've taken to live stream for the last 11 years as state-of-the-art filming and that I'm live to the world. And and it's a powerful, powerful tool, what I'm holding in my hands right now and what you and I are doing right now. I'm a residential school survivor. And uh, I know what's going on. That brutal, brutal period. That genocide. We, t we talk about residential schools a lot on our live stream channel. For the last 77 weeks, you know, not only the longest running Occupy live stream show, but actually the longest running worldwide live stream show is our First Nation show every Thursday night. Devine's First Nation show for the last 77 weeks. Episode 77 tonight. Um, Tonight, he's, Special Tree, he's going to interview Lawrence Fishburne. You know the actor? Uh -huh. He's, he's going to... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're people, the First Nation people of the Americas, North and South, are the longest occupation since human history. And their prisoners are in their own land. Never was a country occupied was occupied that long. And by some estimates, a genocide against the First Nations people of in some people say eighty to ninety percent over that period of time. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. That's why uh, you have what they call reserves. Which is not a First Nations term. That's imposed by the government. Yes. That term. It's that's territory. Why, that's why that's why they they apply the rule of divide and conquer saying that we're different. But they apply the same philosophy to every First Nation. So wake up, man. Wake up.
we're gonna if we if we don't if we don't do this if we don't do this if we do it on our own we're gonna be wiped out and you're gonna have no more rights you're gonna be uh, just a casualty for the uh, for the uh, corporations you're gonna be in a way that's why they teach you to become somebody in the system. You're not you're, you're not becoming somebody. You already are. The day you were born, you've been and you are. It's not society that's going to say you're becoming somebody because you are. By the way, Jesus means I am. In what language? Hebrew. I did not know that. Yeah, it's, they, they prevent you from knowing things. They, they, they make you, they make you know the things that will benefit their uh, pockets. It's all about the deprogramming yeah. and education. You got to decolonize. That's what we got to do. Yeah. I'll come. I'll come to have them talk about Ireland. Ireland. Because it do doesn't benefit them. No. Nope. Someday. Someday. Soon enough. People are gonna see. Either you're gonna either gonna see that the water is being poisoned, the land is being ravaged, and then ah, oh, we should have listened to the Indians. But right now we're not looked upon as humans. We don't have a right to exist on our land. I'll know more. And that was one of the Thank you, Solomon. You're welcome. In your last name is pronounced Wattebi. Right? Wawate. Wawate. Means Northern Lights. Solomon Wawate. Yeah. I was born soon. Yes. Have a good day. You too. Hey, John. <laughs> That's where I found the little bird. Yeah. Uh, that little hawk there. Yeah. That's like on the poster wall. Yeah. Well, tell us a little bit about this. Uh, it's an area where I found the little bird. Uh, the videotape name is uh, Mamui. Mm -hmm. And uh, I explained to the logging companies that uh, what they're doing, you know, is uh, like when they clear stuff, it's like uh, coming to take away the stores, you know, medicine, clothing, shelter, you know. Once the clear cut happens, we don't have nothing else to do. Okay.
the monoculturization happen. You see, like according to the law, uh, log, is that they were supposed to replant the same type of trees that they're cutting. But over here, you see, there's a uh, birch, uh, poplar, and there was some maple here, and uh, they're going to plant uh, what you call a jackpot. So that's going to disperse all the herbivore. Yeah, because they're faster growing, I believe. Right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, the other thing about uh, uh, what you call it, uh, the jackpot is that uh, it stunts the growth of other other type of trees, deciduous, and um, that takes away the food source for the herbivores. Yeah. So at the end, you know, we'll have nothing left. And what does that the jack pines do to the table water? Uh, to the table water, it changes the pH because it's, it's, it has so much acidity. Because that's what they love. They love acidic soil. Yeah. So anyways, there's a, like the, according to the, uh, what you call an ecological study, there's nothing that pertains, you know, that could control the, mm -hmm. the log and industry. It's going to more light. Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why we... Uh, like you could say, uh, Arpur created that Bill C-45 to take the away... The uh, water way out. Yeah. yeah. So they they could change the biodiversity of the forest completely. Yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's what we would like to change, you know, for uh, future generations and stuff like that. Yeah. That's what we're open for. Yeah. For... Uh, social harmonization, you know, not just uh, economical uh, venture, yeah, where it destroys our our way of life and so on. Yeah. Now, what is all this clear-cutting done to the animals? Uh, well, since uh, they're creating a lot of what you call a roadways, it has opened uh, like the territory up for hunters to exploit, which uh, you know most animals don't have any place to hide anymore. So even then, you know, like the moose population has been going down. Where it used to take us a day to go hunt, now it's taken us a, a month or so. You know, to get our moose, you know, so we could feed our family. The, the fish in the water, you know, are getting smaller, you know. We don't catch big ones anymore. You know. Every now and then we might catch a trophy size, you know. But uh, most lakes are emptied out, you know, because there's so many roads out there now. So anyways, there's much change that's been happening just within the last 20 years since the logging company started in 91. Anything you want to say to the world that how they can help? The world is watching right now. Yeah, what I'd like to say to the world is that the generation coming, the children, you know, parents, grandparents, to do something, you know, to do something in order for children to have something, not to live in an uh, in industry, but uh, to what the Creator has given us. You see, like, If we want to, if we want to somewhat have a vision of what the Creator has given us, what what Native believe is paradise, is you take away everything that human has made, and then we see what uh, the Creator has given us. Uh, now, uh, the only way of existence today is with money. Uh, I don't want to live with that anymore. I don't want my children to live with that. 
Uh, I want them to be free, uh, live upon the land. Once the nature has been destroyed, you know, there'll be nothing left for the children. Uh, so it's the future generation that's got to speak up now. Uh, what kind of world do they want? Uh, do they want to live in a, a, a world of cement? Or do they, do they want to live in a world with nature? That's my point. And tell the world your name. My name is Jacob Owari. Jacob? An Algonquin of the Turtle Island people. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, and oh, this, what do you think of this guy? The CEO, CEO of Resolute, who's being honored in the building behind us. Look at that evil guy. He can't even smile. Tell us about this fucker. Excuse my language. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you see, like, uh, let me put it this way. Yeah. You know where uh, a few thousand Harper Rally is on Saturday is going to be? Do you know? Have you heard? Uh, noon at Dundas Square. A few thousand years ago, a family starts, you know, a life in the woods and they expand to a community, and then to a town, and then to a city. Now the, the person that lives in the middle of the city has to go 10 times further out. So he begins to domesticate animal plants and animals, birds, what have you. What we call farm people, gardening. So they don't need nature anymore. So it created a society where they, uh, they're disconnected from nature. Yeah. So do you blame the society today that have been disconnected for thousands and thousands of years? Uh, ignoring uh, what nature has to offer. Because they don't need it anymore. Garneau is one of them. Yeah. He doesn't need nature, you know, all he needs is uh, money, you yeah. know, he's happy. Yeah. So anyway, in a way, I don't blame him for where he is, but uh, at one point, he has to wake up how important nature is to the world. Corporate criminal! Yeah. And uh, by engineering uh, the forest, is not the way to go. Yeah. And that this is the thing he's got to understand. It's to awaken uh, his consciousness, you know, to the world of nature. Thank you, Jacob. You're welcome. Well put. <laughs> It's not sustainable development, it's ecocide. I think we bored the cops to uh, death. You said you got one of the Do you see this? I want to, sh I want to show this. this. Are you live still? Yeah, yeah. This is a two okay. gigabyte USB. Hi. Um, the Confluence of Crossing and Power 2003 conference is here. Um, this is what they're giving out in there? Six, um, representing various universities discussing environmental uh, okay. and programs. Sorry, and where is this from? Inside? Various, you, yes, inside, right next to Richard Garner. That, that's what they're giving out? Tons of books, like here, environmental history, 
this is next door to the Richard Garneau conference. Oh, my but God. the people I spoke to there, they're all talking about their courses, but no one seems to be too concerned what's going on next door. Um, this conference is happening for three days next door to one of the major violators in Quebec. Um, they're just there selling their university. Uh, and maybe they're trying to get a job. I don't know, but I told every one of them what's happening. Only one person seemed concerned and wished me luck. Um, a lot of them are from the U.S., um, either promoting their books or their uh, their courses. Um, anyways, it's ironic that they're here at the same time that Richard Garneau is here. Um, hmm. Coincidence? <laughs> 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 I just wonder who this guy is with the two cameras he's pressed. So how are they going after them in a big way? You know, best, I don't want to misrepresent, best you should ask. Them. Sure, I, yeah. I can ask them, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, What's your impression? Of my impression is it's the early days of the campaign, and they okay. and they, they so helped us organize. Going on, right? Yeah, they organized us. Help us organize the yeah. yeah. You tell them. I'm using my land. I live in the bush, and you don't see that. What's going on over there? Because you're standing in the city. <laughs> city don't see nothing you go back in the bush you see what's going on <laughs> what do you got to say to the world the world's watching now let them watch <laughs> <laughs> you know what i'm fighting for no more <laughs> Save my heart. Save my heart. <laughs> we're not gonna give up we're gonna go all the way i'm not fucking down either <laughs> No more! No more clear cut! No more nothing! Tell them! Be there all the way! You want to see me? No more, no more! I said no more! You're not going to cut no more! No more free shit, nothing! You destroy the water, everything! You're killing us! You're killing everything! No more! I'm going to fight all the way! You heard it? Even Alfred is not going to get everything he wants. No more. Stand it up now. Fire direction left. Stand it up. We're every, every time we protect the land. They always tell us we're the criminal. We're not. You are. Side mode of hurt. Oh. You were there then, yeah? Huh? You were there then, yeah? Are they still imprisoned or no? The elders. The, they arrested. There are two elders. They arrested her. I remember her. I actually... <laughs> what? She passed away. I helped get her out. This was a year ago, right? Or something? I helped get her and another elder out of jail. Uh, like I did it for brother, Vancouver. Her, her brother Joe. Yeah, they were arrested. I remember her from last year. She passed away. Yeah, she passed away not too long ago. From what? Well, she had a stroke. She was. Uh, she was too strong for them. That was no story. Okay. Um, I was told that recently, that's why I'm here, I was told there was a rest recently of two elders. I put it up on Facebook. Are they still in? Okay, well, I'm going to look at, I'm going to have, I'm going to talk with her, the spirit, and find out what she has to say, and uh, find out who did it, and then punish it. But, has there been a rest recently of two other elders? No, I've been arrested in 2007. Was there any arrests in the last week or two? No. I've been fighting for my land since that. We'll be coming up to visit you soon. Uh, ladies coming, a photographer's going to come. She's going to take pictures of all that. I'm going to put it out, all this out on the world stage. I'm a medicine person. I live on the land. I just came off the land just recently. Okay? So I'm going to go out and I'm going to help you. But first, I'm going to go after the CEOs and the VPs and the world and the Quebec leaders on this. 
If that doesn't work, I'm going to come out personally. I promise you. I will help you. Absolutely. Uh, so much so that I'm coming out there personally, and that's it means a lot if I come out personally. When I was about 16, I dream about this. I dream about the seven wolves, uh, seven white wolves. And I dream a big snake, snake coming out. Well, I'm a red-tailed hawk. We hunt snakes. In, uh, bad ones. <laughs> bad ones, not good ones. That's what my mother says to me. When I dream about this, one of these days you're going to stand up and fight your government, the government is in. There was a lot of wolf that came out from the bushes. Oh, the wolf got tattooed in my arm? That's what I have. I dream about this. So, all that dream I've been having, it's, uh, it's happening. Listen, I wish to watch over you because you're a strong woman. I don't want to have her happen to you. Please, Jason Thunderbeam on Facebook, okay? Or Jason Thunderclap on Twitter. Okay, I want to watch over you. I want you to. I pray you report to me about anything weird going on. If you're feeling ill, anybody who's protesting feeling ill, or if they're still doing this, I can help you. I promise. Okay. So Jason Thunder Being on Facebook. Okay. All right. And I'm going to take you to your, your tail and everything out to the world stage. If you can write down your vision dream and then share it, and then I'll, I'm going to put that out on the stage. Okay. Yeah. I'm Thunder. My Indian name is Muskodesi. I'm white Sunday. My daughter does, uh, is on the Facebook all the time. She's the one that write it for me. Her name is Shannon Chief. Shannon Chief. That's yeah. easy to remember. Well, just remember, Jason Thunder being, I might, if whoever friends each other first, okay? Um, but I can help you guys, I promise. I specialize in going after world leaders and big government, or big corporations. Big government, big corporations. In actuality, Stephen Harper has an international arrest warrant for him. So does Queen Elizabeth. So does the cult, and that's why he stepped out. Queen Elizabeth stepping down next, the next is Harper. Canada has been dissolved. This country doesn't even exist right now. Okay, you're going to get all that on my list. Okay? Uh, your daughter will show you this is big news. Okay, we will. Thunder, what's he saying? Jason, Thunder being. Thunder being, you know, like a spirit, great right spirit, thunder being. Jason, thunder. thunder being. Thank you. So happy! <laughs> <laughs> will not give up. Will never give up. Fighter. We're just we getting fight started. All the way. <laughs> not afraid. Good. Be afraid that only one person I'm afraid is the Creator. If we don't do nothing, he's gonna punish all. Even that guy up there, he's gonna get it. Too. I know. That's what I'm here for. I'll go anywhere, everywhere they try to hide something on us. No more hiding stuff for us. We'll be, we'll be there every minute, every second. Well, Peter, and I mean it. Settling down no more. I'm not quite no more. I'm not going to be quite anymore. Okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what do you have to say about all this? That's your poster. That hurts, James. <laughs> okay. 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 I got a picture that's it uh, popping. Yeah. But you saved it, eh? Did yeah, we saved that? it, yeah. but it, uh, it didn't uh, live too long because it was, I guess, dehydration <laughs> and everything. It was on the ground what, the way it is, but the way my brother picked it up. It's a baby eagle. Yeah, a hawk. I know it's a baby eagle. Oh, it's a hawk? Yeah. yeah. No time like the present. <laughs> <laughs> What would you like to say to the world? How can they help your territory? How can they help them? Well, first of all, they can stop the cutting and talk to the indi indigenous people first before they go and step on our land and take it, start taking stuff away from us and stop making promises that they made. And there's so many promises they made and then it's not fair. And they look at us like, we have no, no, no say to anything, and this is our, this has been our land for the longest, 
have I've, uh, I've known from my grandparents. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Check <laughs> in. <laughs> Would you like to say maybe some people from your territory watching in the archives? What would you like? Come to on, everybody! Come and fight with everybody. We're doing this together. You say we reunite. Today is to reunite. Wake up, everybody! And who are these people here that that, that you're holding? Who are those people? These are the SQs that that works with them. What do they do? So they take it back. What do they do? They're, uh, how do you call that? They're bad men. Me. <laughs> they're not the law. They're bad. They're against us. Private security. Them. Yep. So these are the people that were arresting our elders then. These yes. And yes. one elder died. My sister that is died. one of the elders that passed away. What happened? She had a stroke. Massive stroke. The first rally there was in Ottawa. And a week later, she got sick. And the second rally there was... She passed away. When uh, the Inu boys, the Inu walkers, when they got to when they got to Manawaki, Manawaki, Ottawa. Ottawa. When they got to Ottawa, that's when she died. She died that afternoon. The Inu boys got there about three o'clock. So she was, was arrested for ten days. She was arrested for ten days before when we started this fog and this, the march for protecting the land. We were protecting the land, and she got arrested. She gave up everything so that people will see what is happening to our people and what is going on to our territory. Why is this system? Why is this system arresting our, our elders and our children? Why Stop is the that. system arresting? Isn't the it's, system supposed to protect? They're supposed everybody? to protect, but the way it is in Quebec. They, they don't recognize anything what's going on and this it's all money money, right? money. it's in really everything money. involved with line, money right? yeah it doesn't matter doesn't where you matter look who stands in the way yeah where you're standing money's right there so you Ma can have a baby standing away they'll still yeah come charging in with their guns and yeah it guns, doesn't right? matter they'll come in there with their equipment it doesn't matter they, how old they are they're gonna push the baby aside and take the parent they arrested an elder and withheld life-saving medicine for three days. He had a kidney transplant and refused to give him his anti-rejection drugs. That was my other brother. My, um, there were, there that's, were bro uh, bro that's a human rights violation system. and uh, they probably could sue um, for that if there was damage done to his organs. He could have died from that. And sadly enough, you know, this government doesn't uh, help us. Uh, just recently, that court decision by Supreme Court there for gas and arrows, you know. Did you hear about that one? Tell the world. Oh, boy. I mean, the Supreme Court here of Canada just ruled uh, this past week that uh, these developers uh, can go into any territories and uh, just take whatever it is that they need. They don't need to consult with the First Nations. That was a recent court ruling here. You mean the conservative stacked Supreme Court? That's right, absolutely. San Gracinero is in the same boat as the rest of our people. No logging, no clear cutting. And, and Alberta is part of the tar sand. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so what the, the, the conservative Isn't that the government longest did? blockade in uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Turtle Island in the yeah. history, probably? Yeah. yeah. That's been going on what? How many yes. years? 11? Yep. Uh, 12 years now, oh, yeah. yeah. And the, the, the sad part about it is, like I said, the government uh, just ruled the Supreme Court ruling. It's a law that favors their side. It doesn't favor us anymore. It favors them. So this consults and then inform and prior is, is thrown out the door now because of this new ruling. So basically our lands and our people and our children are up, are up for grabs. Sad, very sad. The government is using money how to bend the Anishinaabe people's arm and how to go against each other and its contour on each other on, on every nation because money is always thrown in and um, the elders don't see nothing that uh, they don't even look at the money. They look at the land right away before they, they take that money. 
and this is what we're doing. We take the, we're taking our land instead of taking the money. This is why the government is not paying attention to us because we don't want his money. Right? <laughs> right on. <laughs> well, I, I think if anything that uh, has happened out of all this, the fact that this, this movement, this idle no more movement uh, that everybody's talking about, uh, I think that it's a major threat here to, uh, to, to these uh, politicians and to these leaders. And believe me, okay, the word out there is right now, uh, one thing, the wrong thing is going to really upset this fire, okay? And what this government is doing is just that they keep on putting more fire or more gasoline on this fire. And one of these days here, very soon, it is going to get out of hand and it's going to explode. And the government knows that there are more First Nations people here than settlers. Okay, and that's why this government right now is attempting in every direction, through the schools, okay, through privatization, through apprehension of our children, to the recruitment of, uh, of our soldiers, okay, they know that there's more Missing First Nations. Missing murdered First Nations Absolutely. women? Yes, yeah. yes. So there's control there, but you cannot control the spirit of the people. And this summer, this year, is going to be a breakout for our people. Because we know, we know what this is all about today. And our people and our children are just getting, <laughs> we're not, that's it. You know, this is it. And it's very frustrating. It's very, it's angry. It's, 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 it's angry. I mean, I just got back from Vancouver there for the uh, Wally Opal's uh, circus. And uh, same thing, you know. What's Wally Opal? He had the, the inquiry all, all last year. Oh, they the Robert Victor one. Yes, they had the inquiry going on there was all last year. Was he the judge in year. charge of that? Or he was the one, yes. Oh, and they just what's his name again? Wally Opal. And, That's uh, a funny sounding name. Well, <laughs> yeah, anyway. he was actually Solicitor General at the time when my sister went missing and ended up to Pink Farm. He was the guy at the time that was denying that there was ever a serial killer. And then years later, he's uh, apologized to us and to the families uh, for his mistake. And the RCMP have also come clean and, and admitted their mistakes as well. They've all apologized to the people, but nothing's getting done. There's no movement. Okay? We found out that, uh, yeah, they made a mistake. We found out that our kids are going missing, but nobody's doing anything to protect them now, you see? So, yeah, we just keep on stealing our children and raping the land, and uh, the problem should go away. But, like I said, we got news for them. Thank you. Yar. Yeah. Criminal. Don't worry, it's not on you. It's live, it's Occupied Toronto live stream. Do you know the Facebook events page for this? It's, it's there. And I'll put the archive of this on there. Yeah. I'll, I'll post it uh, later on today. Go ahead and watch it? Yeah. But it, as soon as I press stop, it's instantly saved. And people can watch it within a minute. How long is it going on? Uh, it's hard to see. Probably about three hours. Resolute are saving the forest. Hey, did you bring that? 
that's, that's what they're distributing. Get out. Uh, yeah. What, what is the tag? Read the tag. What does the tag say? Okay. It's probably, should I get a, a violin and, and some tears? Uh, oh. So Resolute, inside, they're yeah. giving away this. Yeah. At Resolute, we make decision with tomorrow in mind. Join me in conserving the natural resources in our care by plant this by planting this in Ontario, spruce seeding with our compliments, Richard Garneau. Anything Friend. on the back? On the back. It says how to plant it? <laughs> Planting tips. Okay, so uh, how to, let's see if they know. Pick a location that is partial to full sunlight. Dig a hole <laughs> that's three times as white as the tree roots. Dampen the roots in preparation for planting. Work the soil around the roots, firming carefully. Water thoroughly, weekly, thereafter, until established. Hmm. Okay, I can stop the violin music yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, thank you. You can stop the tears. Yeah. Oh, 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 they're so kind. Oh, oh, what a smoke screen. Yeah. <laughs> what a crock. That's, uh, that's my present to you. <laughs> I'm going to get Hello. a coffee. <laughs> uh, can I wear it on my hat? Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> when they say, okay, you got to go for um, C-35, no, C-45. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get a close-up of this. Yeah, this tree. They're giving out, even signed by, I know it's a little hard to see, but that's what Solomon just read. Yeah. And the planting instructions on the back. <laughs> and it's not even, it seems like cork. Or you tell them! Mm. Look at what they're giving away inside. Read that. That's the only tree I'm going to save? No, Richard Garneau signed it. He says they're saving the trees. They're not saving the trees. He says you're lying, sister. Well, I'm not lying. He's lying. <laughs> he's the one that destroying everything. And he, and he said he's a uh, creator. Oh, sir, he's lying. This is bullshit. <laughs> it's not that uh, it's not even protecting the tree. He's killing the hurt. But look, he's giving away the look. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't need that. I need my real tree. Yeah, the original. The original I want, not this. That's a fake. He's going to be cutting this after. <laughs> There's a connection. There's a rooting there. You know, you plant that. You know what? What's going to happen it's in that? It's going to. Yes, yes. It's, 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 it's a part of the systematic. Uh, you know, uh, I think uh, destruction of Mother Earth. You know, and then they. What a ploy! What a ploy to present that and think that they're replenishing and restoring. You know, they don't understand the Earth at all. They don't but, understand it like Anishinaabe people. Yeah. And they're here giving that farce. away what a farce. at what the a Royal line. York when people have no idea what's going on. And there's some conference going on. They sussed out some books they're giving away. Some students are here doing yes, some conference. Yes, there was a, uh, a young or, lady that came out with an armful of yeah. books. You know, again, propaganda, you know, yeah. and trying and to... And giving away those trees. Yes, yes. And, and look, they even have at the back how you plant it. <laughs> <laughs> 
planting tips. <laughs> What a, it is a total. As if the creator has propaganda, to misleading. You know. Well, where, 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 where should they plant that? At his ass. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Well, I think it's a little small. Well, they can chuck it in. <laughs> 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 Oh, We're having way more fun than they are in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are, they are. So what do you think of all this? This whole, uh, yeah, I think it's a fiasco, really. I think it's really a lot uh, of, um, I think, deception on their part to be doing all of this. And then to promote a man, to, to present them with an award and, uh, you know, and... and yeah, what was the award again? The Empire Club gave Yes, I think that's right. Some environmental yes, yes. sustainability crap. From what I understand, crap, that's right, shit, exactly. Something. Yes, yes. And we, we've we seen some of their executives and some of their people come through the doors here, you know, and they're some of them just, just turn the other way or they hold their heads down or whatever. But, you know, it's like their body language is, is giving a message of dismissing yeah. why we're really out here with the First Nations people. You know, trying to get the message out, trying to get into the consciousness, you know, waken the consciousness of these people to to uh, find out and be curious why we're here, what message we want to give in saving Mother Earth, you know, and what we want to let them know what uh, uh, Resolute Forestry Services is really doing. We have actual people from, from, from that area, from that land, you know, who have their stories and can really tell you what's really going on. Yeah, and they've been telling a lot of good stories. Yes, yes, and and you know, what really going on. Yes, yes. What a what devastation there is. What destruction there is mm -hmm. by this company. You know, mm -hmm. and and it's sickening to hear. And it's sickening to hear what's happening to all that land with the trees. You know, just absolutely being bulldozed. You know, such clear cutting on a massive scale up there. You know, and. Not only that, then to go and turn around and tell the, the, the people of that land that they're going to take more, you know. Solomon I mean, was saying since 1991 when they started, at least 70% of the forest is gone. Yes, and they want to take another 20-some percent, almost 25%. So it's going to be like Iceland, 5% trees. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. My home Yes, yes, yes. So it's I a can. very, very... And, and, uh, but we got a, a rationale for that. Mm -hmm. We're at the Arctic Circle yeah. in Iceland. You know, way above the tree line. Yes, yes. Alpine forest, they call Resolute it. Resolute has no excuse. No, no. You know, it's Resolute, that's right. Resolute Forestry Services has no excuse. That's right. You know, and I think that, uh, you know, uh, hopefully in time they'll realize that what they're doing is only finite. You know, you can't, uh, you can't eat money, and, uh, you know, and you can't, uh, replace what's been what they've done what they've taken you can't replace that you know and it's going to affect everybody it's not you know and the first nations here is trying to get that message of trying to alert the world it not only it just affects us but it's going to affect everybody you know yeah. so i think it's best that uh they listen change. try and listen get curious and listen and try and find out get get themselves you know get those education and informed uh about what really uh mm -hmm. is going on out there you know, and that's, you know, and this is just one nation, but it's happening all across Canada, you know, and it seems like day by day or moment by moment, you're finding out news of, of what's happening to, to uh, other First Nations. So, I think that's what uh, I want to get out there. I've said my, uh, I've said my, uh, what I want to say for now. I'm going to keep right on, you know, participating and getting out there and being a part of this, you know, Educating being a supporter, people. being a supporter and encouraging, you know. So I think it's very important. It's crucial. It's vital, you know, to get out there. And, and you know, I've, I, I've changed significantly for from the yep. past uh, seven months, you know. So it's, it's amazing to be out here. Wetch, to wetch. Can I carry you back to the end of the last week? Okay, uh, coming up. So, 
Paul, do you want to say something? Do you want to get in and say say a few words? I, I, Put your five, two I, cents in or more? I, I, I've already said quite a few things, but there was no microphone. But I'll say it again, that I'm here for the environment and uh, the Native people are on the front lines and I have to support them because of the sacrifices they're making. And it's a shame that the highest paid jobs in Canada is given to people who destroy the planet. And uh, that includes the tar sands, the diamond mines, the gold mines. They're all destroying the planet, the water supply, they're hijacking the water, the air, the plants. What happened in Arkansas is another example of all the toxic uh, tar sands that's going to happen to Toronto if people don't uh, watch that uh, pipeline, that uh, tar sands pipeline. It, it's a poison. And uh, most people agree that it is a poison. I don't have to educate anybody. Uh, I think most informed people, there's a bunch of people that doesn't want to listen. And that's... Uh, it's a. Uh, there's nothing I can do. They're, they're gonna. Uh, we hope they just drift away and into the sunset and, and not not uh, make any decisions about this planet. That uh, and unfortunately, some of the people in high places are, are very ignorant of the uh, the damage that these industries are doing uh, to to our our planet. Uh, very uh, very high people. And they should be informed, and we have to, we have to tell them uh, uh, about all of the consequences of their actions, and not pay them such a high salary. We have, we have in this province a uh, Sunshine Club. People make over a hundred thousand dollars a year, and what do they do with their money? Uh, I can give you two guesses. They'll buy two or three SUVs, and they'll go to uh, China. Uh, uh, travel all over the world, India, Japan, and they'll destroy the planet as they travel their merry way. But uh, I hope people are smart enough to know what uh, what uh, these people are doing to to the, the, the uh, hu human animals and, and birds. And I'm going to stop there because I'm running out of breath. But thank you all for listening. <laughs> thank you, Paul. Just like to say Bama P, which means until later, no goodbye in my language, Anishinaabe, heading out. So we're going to keep you. up the good fight, people. Thank you, John. See you later. Miigwech. Thank you, John Fox. Yar. And my bag, I guess, is over. Right, right okay, beautiful. Thank you for taking oh, care of it. Thank you there, Captain. No, no, no. I, I know you're, you're looking after it. Yeah. <laughs> it's just when I, I'm in a bubble when I'm live streaming. I know. <laughs> oh, this is it. We're looking after each other. Oh, uh, thank you. Watching each other's back. Against the fence. Yeah. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, they're down there with the group there, I think. Oh, I think we can take it down there. Where did the others go? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think uh, we're wrapping up. I don't know. I have a hard time with that. My daughter's here. I so I got it. Yeah. Oh, I know, I know. Taking the taking of plants. Like, I noticed here, like they cut a lot of trees down and everything. Like it's suddenly really, really hot in the summer. Okay. You know, and I'm like, they're cutting everything. What's going to be lunch? So what's going on today? People living in the city. Well, I mean, a lot of a lot of them now. Where we live.
They don't need it in. They don't need it in. They live in the bush where they see everything that's going on. Oh, I know. They don't see nothing. They get healthier too because it's less pollution. So that's why I lived in Vancouver area for eight years. But then I came back to claim my status back. You know, and then my sister find out we had three tribes. So I thought, oh, yeah, no wonder I was like the woods and I always like the horses. And I always like, you know, and I'm a warrior. <laughs> you know? Like, hey, I'm almost 60 years old. You know? I don't look at it. I'm almost 60. So I defend the rights of the people a lot. So what I want to do for the summer is help the native uh, to explore the art and all that. So I'm trying to get some funding from the Métis Association. So we'll see if I can get that done. And if I get that done, then after the summer, and then maybe I'll see that to that. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to help the youth because when they come in the city, it's getting bad. And the youth, Vancouver is really bad, you know. I thought they had a lot of issues with me. And get lost, eh? And then the mothers come to the city and get them out of the city. You know, I don't know if they do that here, no, it's terrible. Look at the city, they lose themselves. Oh, yeah. 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 Ask her what she's gonna do with that tree, that that seedling. Ask her. Okay, uh, what are you gonna do with that seedling? Yeah, I was curious about that. Yeah, yeah. What are you gonna do? You gonna find it? Like the head of Richard to the planet in his ass. What is it? It's the one you say. They're saying how 
environmentally friendly they are. They're not clear cutting. Oh, really? It's the same where we stay in English. It's all clear cut. Try to save that. I don't know. I'm new in Toronto, so I haven't got a clue what's going on here, but I'm sure I got a feeling I'm going to know. <laughs> so, you know, well, try to fight down there. I mean, you know, like uh, I went camping up in uh, uh, this one area there outside of uh, Vancouver. It's all in uh, native land. You're from and, Vancouver? Uh, uh, no, I'm originally from Ontario, you know, but uh, my tribes are all in Quebec. But uh, I came back to my land, which is Ontario. <laughs> so, you know, I'm hoping to do something with the people, the native youth. So we'll see what happens this summer. Yeah. Kind of get some funding and stuff. So, yeah. So uh, I'm really happy to be here. So I'll check out the Idol no more. Yeah. See what they ha what's happening around here. Nice. Yeah, and uh, we'll see what happens, right? All we right. can't shut up, right? We have to continue oh, speaking. No, that's okay. Okay. Never right? Shut up, back, never back down. Yeah, are, that's good. People want to know what your name is. I don't want to tell my name. Uh oh. <laughs> just well, I'm Monica. My, I, uh, my name's Monica. <laughs> my name is Lisa. Yeah. Okay. I'm Lisa. Lisa. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Feisty. Yeah. <laughs> Proud of it. <laughs> oh no, I'm not afraid. Nothing to be afraid in this world. But to fight back is what I want to do. No more. No more. I don't know more. I don't know more. All right, alrighty, folks. Uh, so uh, we're calling it a day. Um, my name is D. Shanger. I'm a mod and live stream director here at Occupy Toronto. So tonight we got a special, special treat on Devine's First Nation show, episode 77, the live stream world's longest running weekly show. Um, going to a screening of The Colony, which is coming out later this month, theatrical release in North America. It's directed by a very dear old filmmaker friend of mine, Jeff Renfro. He will be, will be live from the after party after the screening. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne stars in it, Bill Paxton. We're going to the cast and crew screening and the after party. And uh, I know Lawrence Fishburne's in town. I'm not sure about Bill Paxton. So we will have, you know, uh, cross your fingers. Devine will be interviewing Lawrence Fishburne. Remember? The blue pill or the red pill? The Matrix. The blue pill or the red pill? Nexus. Okay, so uh, without further ado, thank you for tuning in. And that's at 10.30 tonight, Devine's First Nation show, live from the after party for The Colony. Okay, uh, just Google the film, The Colony. And um, yes, um, ciao folks, yar yar and yar. Uh, just trying to, uh, okay, and here we go. Okay, ciao.